What's up everybody? Today we're doing a little product photography with a bottle of bourbon. A bottle of bourbon. So we're gonna cut to the live feed of the camera. I'm gonna go over to the computer and we're gonna work through this. But first, we need to turn this yellow overhead light off. If you're ever shooting in like your bedroom or something, cut all of those lights, use your own lights. All right guys, so here's the live feed of the main camera. This isn't a picture, this is actually video. But we're gonna start by turning all of these lights off so that you can see exactly what elements are added as each light comes in. So there's... Spooky. All right, now whenever you're doing product photography, one of the main things that you're gonna want is a key light. So it's this, it's this overhead light that's right here. So we're gonna turn that on and see what difference that makes. So here we go. So that's pretty cool, right? Like literally just one light adds so much like character and grit and like just cool aesthetic to this shot. Again, this is, this is a video. So at this point, you really wanna start focusing in on your framing. So, I mean, this doesn't look like a good advertisement. I mean, maybe, kinda of does, depends on what you're going for. But if we're going for more of that like, you know, uh, magazine cover look, then we're gonna want something that's a little bit closer in where you can see some of the detail. So maybe something a little bit more like that. So at this point, the bottle is looking pretty good. We've got some light coming here from the top. The front of the bottle is still a little dark. So we have this light over here that I'm gonna turn on right now and let's see what other dimensions that adds. That's pretty sweet. So that totally brightened up the front of this bottle. It's easier to read. You can even make out some of this, uh, the inscription here actually in the glass, which is awesome. Now, honestly, just with two lights, this could be a finished product. Like if, if we were just doing a quick photography shoot saying, hey, we just need something real quick, boom, done, one and done. However, the color of this bourbon, uh, I really wanna bring that out. And the best way to do that is to, to put some light through it. So I've got this handheld light, and actually I have one tucked back here as well. Um, so we, we can play around with this a little bit. So let's see if we just turn this light up to full power and then let's literally just place it right behind. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I mean, you're getting, you're getting a little bit more light, but I don't know, there's, there's really not a lot of change. It's not bringing out a lot of the color and you're getting all this light down here. That's kind of distracting. So I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, if we were to move this up, you get to see a little bit more of the color, but then you see the light in the background. So what I was playing around with was this other light. If we put this in the back, here, I'll do it out here. So if I'm gonna do this, and then I'm just gonna prop this up in the back, kind of like this. So we'll just move this here to the back. So not too shabby. You can see a little bit of the light coming through here, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, but overall, you can now see just a, like a little bit more color. It brings out the color in the bourbon just a little bit more, which is, which is so appealing when you're looking at, you know, a nice bottle of bourbon whiskey. So from here, let's take it into Lightroom and see what we can do to tweak this to really make this a final product. All right, it's tomorrow. Just couldn't do it last night. So let's jump right in. All right, so here is our unedited, uh, bottle of bourbon okay so one of the first things i like to do is mess with exposure uh, just to see if like there's anything else that we can gain from you know bumping up our exposure a little bit um see this this looks nice because it starts to bring out a little bit of the label a little bit more uh, but then we start losing some of like the detail up here in the uh like the i don't know the cap of the bottle uh, so if we bring back that back down there's some other ways that we can actually bring out the label and one of the ways to do that and one of the ways to do that in this case, since we're using lights, is to actually increase our highlights a little bit. Okay, so you can see that that brought out the, uh, the label just a little bit more. Here's without it, here's with it. And then we can add a little bit of contrast in there. You can see how that's kind of, uh, you know, here's without, here's with it. Kind of just adds like, you know, kind of a cool edge to the bottom. Next, I might increase our whites just a little bit, decrease our blacks just a little bit. Then we move down to the tone curve or the light curve graph. Um, and normally what you wanna see is like an S curve. So you wanna pull up your lights just a little bit more and then pull down your darks just a little bit. Maybe come not so much on the, on the lights. 
maybe something right about there. So you kind of get like this, you know, almost like small S curve on your, your graph over here. Okay, then let's scroll down and we're gonna look at uh, texture. So this, watch what happens when we mess with texture. So I don't know if you can pick up on that if it comes through well with the screen, but like it makes it a little bit more sharp, especially in the, uh, um, the label right up front. Brings out the label just a little bit more. Uh, we can bring clarity up a little bit. I don't wanna bring it up too much because if you bring it up all the way, you start kind of getting like this grainy look to it. Uh, so we can add just a little bit of clarity, adds a little bit of edge. Something else we can do that I wanna mess with is this dehaze button. So if we drag this, like it's almost gonna change the feel of the entire shot. Uh, adds, you know, you can see the wood down here that you can, the grain comes out a little bit more. Uh, the background becomes really dark. Um, so kind of a unique approach. I actually like it a little bit. Um, I might leave it maybe about right here. Um, let's, we'll see if that stays. Okay, then we can also, you know, potentially look at sharpening. Um, we're starting to get a little grain that's showing up. You can see that here. So we wanna be really careful um, with how much more detail we're adding. Um, something that can actually really help this is if you go down to noise reduction, and let's just drag this up just a little bit. And let's zoom in. So you can see all this, you know, all this grain around here. Uh, if we drag the noise, I'm gonna go extreme. If we drag it all the way up, and see that, that went away. It's a lot more smooth. Um, but when you do that, you start losing a lot of detail as well. So if we zoom all the way out, I mean, it, it actually it does actually kind of look pretty cool. Um, but I don't really like using noise reduction, so I'm gonna bring that down uh, just a little bit more to about a 50, 53. So, but man, it's looking pretty good. Um, I'd like to bring out the detail in this part a little bit more, which can be tricky because I don't want to mess with the color of the bourbon. Shadows is one of the ways to do that. So let's, if we drag shadows all the way up, you're going to see like it comes out a little bit more, but if we zoom out, um, man, it actually, that does look pretty good. Let's see what it used to look like. And then with it dragged up, uh, that's actually not too bad. But one thing I think I'm going to do, because when you drag the shadows all the way up, it starts to brighten the, uh, the background just a little bit which is fine, but I like kind of the darker look. So one way we can fix that is by coming over here to the radial gradient and just kind of like doing a quick select like here in the middle for, uh, for the bottle. Um, so let's kind of see what this looks like. So if we bring this here and let's increase our shadows a little bit. Okay, see how that just brings out some of the uh, you know, this lettering in the glass versus if it wasn't there versus if it's there. So you kind of get like some of this, uh, this like lightened area around here. So what we could even do is bring this in and literally just make it so that the shadows are focused on the lettering before, after. And you even get the colors starting to shine through a little bit. Looks great. All right guys, so we're getting real close to a finished product here, but there's one thing that I would potentially add um, if we look at like a vignette. So putting a vignette just around the outside, see what this does. It kind of pulls the attention to the glass. Like, so here's, here's it without. We could go all the way, but then you get, I don't know, kind of, I'm not a big fan of that. I just, I don't, it, the vignette shouldn't be the focus. It should just draw focus towards the subject of your Picture. So something right about there. So you don't necessarily like notice that you have this black line uh, kind of around the outside, even down here at the bottom towards the uh, uh, the wood. Uh, but it just it draws your eyes right to the bottle, which is the whole point of this entire picture. All right. So there we go. We got a finished product. If we really wanted to, we could take this into Photoshop, um, add some other stuff to it, like maybe a splash of like water behind it. Uh, maybe throw in some, uh, maybe like some citrus peels or any other like flavor elements that would go along with the, with the bourbon. Uh, but for now, I think this is an awesome shot. It's ready to go and hopefully we'll help them sell some bourbon. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested and want to see more videos like this, drop a comment so that I know, hey, people actually like these kind of videos. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.